I always think of the mountains as the mothers of human poetry. The place where dreams and adventures intersect. And sometimes those dreams <laughs> might just become real. <laughs> Very real. I'm so, so, so excited today because today for the very first time I get to do my favorite sport in Pakistan. <laughs> so I'm just about to go skiing right here in Malam Jabba Resorts in Sawal Valley in KPK and I am beyond excited. Seriously, there's nothing that compares, nothing that compares to the natural beauty and the fresh air of the mountains. Imagine this. We are in the depths of KPK in Pakistan, an area that just a few years ago was totally out of bounds, totally inaccessible. And yet, here I am, a foreigner, getting ready to go skiing on one of the slopes just up there. <sighs> ready for a day of adventure. <laughs> okay, let's get going. I need to get my skis and my boots and my helmet and all of that jazz from the ski shop right at the top of that hill. <laughs> I was in luck. This is the very first season that Malam Jabba has opened a ski shop in the heart of its resort. Here we are in the ski shop of Malam Jabba Resorts. Now this is probably the most important thing when you go skiing is to get the right gear. Now, what should I take? Maybe these ones. <laughs> Maybe I'm not going to go skiing, I'll just go sledging. I was pretty stunned to find that there was so much equipment here, from skis to snowboards and boots, pretty much everything you need as a skier. Here's my pair of skis, here's my pair of poles, my shoes, and I'm ready to go. Zap. See, I was so ready to go because I had been to Sawat before, in the summer and it became quickly my very favorite place in all of Pakistan with its dramatic views, with its resilient history and with its beautiful people. Coming here in the heart of winter to try my favorite sport was like a dream come true. <laughs> the best feeling in the world. <laughs> when I got on the slopes, I simply couldn't believe that I got to do my favorite thing, skiing in my favorite place, Sawat. Carefree and with the same adventurous spirit, following in the footsteps of the people who are from here and sharing the adventure with them. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> So guys, I don't know if you have a passion like this, but for me, skiing is the one, you know? For me, it's like going up the chairlift however many times in a day just to be able to ski down as much as possible. You know, it's that sort of repetition, but but it's not really because it gives you the, every time, every new time you go down the piece or the slope, it's like a new adrenaline rush. So I could keep doing this literally for a week, nonstop. <laughs> so I stand here is like the pro skier in Malam Jabba <laughs> and uh, he is going to take us um, later off piece skiing in the woods in the forest yeah <laughs> is it dangerous no dangerous. no <laughs> i think it's dangerous <laughs> that's the off piece track in the woods i don't know if i can do that that looks pretty scary that looks pretty scary but before I had a chance to say anything, I already found myself climbing to the top. The thing about free skiing is that it starts with a challenge. You have to climb up to the top of one of these hills in order to be able to go down. And as you cross the forest and the magnificence of the trees around you, that's where you begin to feel a true sense 
of real adventure just starting. We're climbing higher and higher. The wind is picking up. There are not even traces of footsteps here anymore. Why am I doing this to myself? Guess how deep this snow is. This deep. Here we are, we've arrived. That's our route. Yes, you're right, there is no route. <laughs> That's why it's called the off beast, which means off slope. There's Asan casually chatting on the phone before the moment of reckoning. <laughs> And so, one of the greatest skiing adventures of my life began as I handed over my camera to Asan and myself tried to focus on not falling. Clearly, not very successfully. We're doing it, we're doing it. Asan? Yeah, man. Was it good? Good. Good? Yeah. I'm good? Yeah, good. Very good. <laughs> he says I'm very good. <laughs> The thing about skiing, whether it's on the slopes or off the slopes, is that it gives you this incredible adrenaline rush. And it's hard sometimes to keep up with your own heart as it races down the slope. But of course, you've got to start somewhere with skiing, right? You're not gonna be like a champion straight away. So this is how some people, especially kids here in Malab Jabal, actually learn skiing. So they have this tiny little slope, very safe, and there's, these are all local kids from, from this area and the resort itself offers them skiing lessons we actually give them warm winter clothing as well so that they can practice some of these kids are actually really quite good let's talk to some of them Hello, assalamu alaikum <laughs> This is a proper future pro skier, I tell you guys Look at him, look at his position What's your name? Tera naam? Mohammed Salman How long have you been skiing? He says uh, from long time. Long, long, long time. From long time really? <laughs> <laughs> so are you a good skier? Bohot uh Bohot Acha in skiing? He says he's really good at skiing. Well done. Good luck. Proper little skiers. I mean these guys, because they're learning from such a young age, they're probably gonna be like future Pakistan champions in skiing. So Remember this little boy. <laughs> and there's a girl. <laughs> Hi. I said I like him. Zubeda. 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 Ever here. And how long have you been skiing? First day. This is her first day. First time. Are you scared? What? What? No. You're not scared? She's not scared, good girl. <laughs> you shouldn't be scared, great. So I think I should teach her some tricks. <laughs> First, we have to get Zubeda up the slope. This is my trusted method. <laughs> the most beautiful thing of all is when you can share your passion with someone else. With someone who is just learning to appreciate that very same thing that makes your heart race. <laughs> It's great to see girls being taught skiing here, as well as boys. You know, this uh, this is really the future um, of skiing for Pakistan. So. And to help turn this dream into a reality, Samson's group, which is responsible for the resort, has initiated a community development program for the locals, with a coach hired to train these kids. I think I'm done with the snowy adventures for now, and I'm ready to head back into a slightly more comfortable context and environment. The building that you probably would have seen in some of the footage, especially from the drone, a big building up on the hill. That's actually a PC hotel, a Pearl Continental Hotel, being built right here in this resort. So it should be ready um, probably for the 2019-2020 season. And I'm just about to go and check out some of the rooms because apparently they're already ordered. So let's go. This is the sneak preview of one of the rooms. Here it is. <laughs> the best thing about this room, in my view, are absolutely the views. And look at this, can you imagine yourself sitting here having a hot chocolate or chai after a long day of skiing, relaxing with a view of the mountain. 
This is just perfect. I'm actually so excited. You know, I I don't normally get excited about hotels, but this is genuinely super, super cool. And this is exactly the kind of place I would want to chill out in um, when I do my skiing. So next season, I'll be here. It's been such an intense and busy day of adventuring, and it's made me quite hungry. It's time for food. Isn't this the chapel kebab with the best view in the world? Easily, easily. <laughs> Days like this get you tired, but this is just the perfect ending. KPK's specialty, the chapel kebab. It's the magical chapel kebab. Probably my favorite food item I've tasted in all of Pakistan. No joke. So this is basically beef patty with a ton of really good spices and egg and it's fried right in front of you, super fresh in a lot of oil. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's that's what makes it really really good. So cheers. Bismillah. <laughs> <laughs> good! <laughs> no, it's so good, honestly. <laughs> now that I've got the chocolate kebab, we are waiting for the I'm perfectly kebab. satisfied. Thank you, Mom Jabba. Thank you, Mom Jabba. Thank you, Mom Jabba. Thank you. Thank you. I could do this all day. So, guys, this has been a really fantastic trip. I've had so much fun. The staff are just fantastic. The food has been great, especially the chapi kebab. I love that. And you know, in general, the atmosphere here in Mount Jabba, because this is one of the two skiing resorts in Pakistan, so it's pretty special. And I think everybody who comes here recognizes that. So the resort itself does a lot for the local community. The local community participates in turn in all the skiing and all the fun and all the games, and they help build the the entire thing, I suppose, the entire community and her village, all of that. So I'm just happy that I could come visit, check out the new properties, have fun. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this adventure with me and hope you visit here as well at one point in your lives very soon. Thanks so much and see you in the next vlog.